Cody Drake is a slick guitarist and soulful singer that you shouldn't ignore. This blues musician has been performing around the country and has quickly gained a following. Vocally, it's hard to believe he's young. Unlike all those other blues prodigies out there, Tony has arrived full-grown musically. His music reflects the timing and phrasing that only comes from the soul and lots of experience. Tony loves the chance to show off those fast guitar fingers, and he plays his instrument with it lying on its back like a piano. Tony has amazing musical capabilities with an interesting twist. Blues legend and award-winning record producer Roy Roberts said, I saw him play and I knew instantly I wanted to record him. Roy Roberts. That's what life is all about, you know. If somebody helps you through life, you come back and you help somebody else and, you know, everybody's blessed. And blessed is one way to describe Tony Drake. He was born at 24 and a half weeks. He weighed uh, one pound, eight ounces and the doctors didn't expect him to make it. And that night became the first of Tony's many blessings. Tony spent several months in the hospital due to complications of his birth. After many medical procedures, Tony's birth mother, feeling at fault and guilty for Tony's problems, left him. So Tony was discharged to a medical foster care facility to recuperate. Just before his first birthday, Tony was adopted by his grandparents, Gordon and Diane Drake, and they became Tony's mother and father. Well, it's been a long time hey, since I held somebody like you in my arms. Yes, it's been a long, long time since love came along and caused so much harm. I always kept myself under control. Then you came along, things begin to unfold. You know, I slipped and I tripped. I fell in love with you. Yes, I did, babe. Tony's adoptive parents decided that Tony's early medical issues would not hinder him. He hadn't been able to discover his world for over a year. So Gordon took Tony for long stroller rides around their Portland neighborhood. He'd lift Tony up to let him feel the tree trunks, smell the flowers, or touch the leaves, just as every parent does with their child. Keep me on my mind every minute of the day. Hey, hey. I never thought this could happen again. Cody progressed rapidly with their loving care. He rolled over at 18 months, crawled at age two, and took his first steps at age four. But the one constant in Tony's life was music. When I uh, was, was a little baby, I used to listen to music, like classical music. Tony was fascinated by all forms of music and instruments. When he was five, it was the first time he played and plucked on the guitar, and he just loved it. At nine years old, Tony tried the piano, but he didn't really enjoy it. Shortly after that, he took electric guitar lessons from a musician who played jazz and blues. Tony was hooked, and the guitar became his passion. He took three years of lessons and started playing lead guitar. At 12 years old, Tony began playing in front of crowds and has continued to amaze his audiences across the country. Nobody else.
several years of playing shows across the country and his passion of music as strong as ever, Tony became determined to meet the legendary bluesman and award-winning music producer, Roy Roberts. His parents brought him to the show and I met him before it was showtime and we talked and I gave him one of my CDs and that's how we met. And within a matter of uh, two days, Tony knowed, knew every song on that CD. Uh, let's do Mr. DJ. Okay, let me find out real quick. It's track five. Learning an entire CD quickly is not the amazing part of Tony's story. Not only was he born prematurely, Tony is blind and has been diagnosed with social autism. Despite the odds and battles he has endured throughout his life, Tony continues to forge ahead. While Tony's first love is the blues, Tony has an amazing gift to be able to learn music by ear. He can listen to an artist on CD, immediately hear the key the song is played in, and then can sing and play the song. He seemingly takes on the very voice and style of the artist, be it bluesman Johnny Lang, country stars Big and Rich, or a song in Spanish or German. While playing in an October festival in Portland, Oregon, the festival coordinator asked if Tony knew any German music. Tony took a lunch break and spent 30 minutes listening to a CD of German music, then came back from lunch and played German music for the crowds. Would you dance? If I asked you to dance, would you run and never look back? Would you cry? Would you save my been everywhere playing for years and years and years and I have never met anybody like that and I, I just thought it's one of the greatest things I've ever ran into to see somebody be able to be like him. As for Tony's future, his mother only hopes that one day others will appreciate Tony's hard work and dedication. Someday I want to see Tony up on top of a stage with thousands and thousands of people and Tony playing for thousands and thousands of people. And I think that is going to be the biggest, the biggest feeling for me that will ever be that we brought our son this far and he is able to do those things. came all over me. This guy has really been touched. He's been blessed. And I hope the good Lord will keep on blessing him for a long time. By an angel, her love came all over me. I was touched by an angel. I've never been touched before She left me begging and pleaded for more Just as soon as I gave in She hurt me over and over again I was touched by an angel Her love came all over me I was touched by an angel 